Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? I am Magicide. Welcome back to our Geek Fest here, playing XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I just reviewed my previous video, and for whatever reason, it like cut off the last uh, like four minutes of my of my recording. I don't know. For some reason, OBS, my recording software, really hates this game. It just seems to really act funky. So uh, basically, I'm going to come in here and take a look at the mission. If we zoom out, uh, what's his face? Mr. Central actually gave us the message saying that there is Chosen activity, that the Chosen is in the area, and I'm suspecting that's probably the Warlock, because I think this is probably his stomping grounds. Um, and the other thing, too, if we go ahead and zoom in here, we've got two Resistance operatives over here, and then four civilians. So our only mission here is to actually neutralize all enemy targets. However... I mean, if we're going to have additional people here, that looks pretty good to me. So why don't we say, take, let's see, Mr. Serpentor, you should have hella movement. We should be very careful about this, how we actually proceed. So we're down here in the corner, which is very nice. Well, kind of, sort of. So let's uh, zoom out. So uh, rotate the map. Why don't we put you behind these sandbags over here? Actually, I take that back. Mr. Serpentor needs to be moving up a little bit further. Since he's got the... Uh, what is this called? Blade Storm. Free, at, free sword attacks on any enemies that enter or attack from melee range, baby. That's what I love. I'm the guy you want. Trust me. So he needs to be the one that actually moves up. Okay, so we got Mr. Bob Adams... Let's get to it! Try to actually save these four civilians, and we've got those other operatives over here, so... Try to reinforce them. Alright. Fortunately, we have chrysalids moving in. They're probably going to beat me to the punch. Because I'm fairly certain I'm not going to be able to actually get there in time, so... I'll tell you what, why don't we put... It would be better for some Shin over here behind these sandbags. Get out of my way. Fast. All right, and then we have Johan. You've got some pretty good movement as well. I'll lead the way. I'm going to try to get all my melee people up. Mr. Nukem. Um See, I want to I want to put him in a position where he can actually maybe snipe from. Like how about behind this tree here? Ready for action. I don't know why everybody rags on Duke Nukem so much. Like, all of the video game magazines and outlets and whatnot, they always talk very nastily about Duke Nukem. I love him. But then again, I am the type of guy that really loves, like, raunchy, gallows humor comedy. So, I mean, it would only make sense that I would be totally into Duke Nukem. Finished here. I need something to do. I actually wish there was more voices. Yeah, son of a bitch. Yep. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. You goddamn right I am. See, what sucks about the chrysalid poison is, is that it's potentially going to actually create more chrysalids. Shoot them! Shoot those bastards! Yeah, see? There's that egg right there. And she's gonna turn into an egg. Okay, we're good. We're doing a little bit of damage here. That's really nice. Soften them up. Holy shit, this map is huge. So it's literally just like a bug hunt. I don't know if I can actually cure the chrysalid poison. Okay, first of all, let's bring Mr. Johan up. I want him to rend a target that it's a guaranteed kill. So why don't we do it from, say, behind the sandbag here. For the Templars! Although there's that other chrysalid. But he does get that free movement. Yeah, buddy. It's a good thing that I brought him, because if we are going to be fighting the Warlock, we're definitely going to need this man. Um, let's actually put you behind cover again. 
want to stay away from the other chrysalids. All right, Duke Nukem. We're going to hold off on you. Um, hmm. So you got 82% chance to actually hit something. Why don't we actually try to shoot the actual cr chrysalid right now? Two percent chance, and it's a misfire. Can you believe that, Serpentor? So what is frostbite? Lash a target with your grapple, freezing them in place. Advent humanoid targets may also be pulled out of cover. They freeze them in their place. Ooh, yeah. Let's let's go for it. Let's actually try it. I want to see what it looks like. That's pretty awesome. And he gets another attack? Oh, hell yeah. Well, before we do anything, let's go ahead and get a, a shot off. So 97% chance to actually take out this chrysalid. Wow. That was terrible. 100% chance. Jesus Christ. I mean, I guess we have no other choice. That took way too many actions here. <sighs> okay, Duke Nukem. Um, we're gonna put you in Overwatch. Long watch as a Born to be wild. <laughs> yeah, let's attack this uh, cocoon. Let's do it from here so we actually, you know, rescue these civvies. Nice, we even got the crit there. Executed. Oh Duke man. Wins. Fatality. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Blade Star, baby. Yeah. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, it's so good. And he dies. He's gonna die. No, what are you doing? Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Yeah, shoot that one. Get him. So I have no idea why I didn't rescue those civilians over there. I guess it's probably because they have... People run... Oh. Okay, so there goes the uh, the one operative. Um. So we're not actually rescuing anybody, apparently. Because these people are not being rescued. Weird. Why don't we go ahead and... Slash this chrysalid. Okay, and then we're gonna bring Johan up to do the dirty deed. Hopefully, he can actually reach. I want you to rend this guy right here. Take him out. Get that. I strike for my people. The other, uh. The other amount of re um, whatchamacallit? Focus. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. There we go. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. What just happened there? Was that one of my people? Okay, so we we have this uh, this cocoon over here that I need to do something with, but we're gonna move. So, target preview, where is... No, where is, uh, Johan at? Why don't we move you over here? Let's get you up a little closer. And unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to take out this, this cocoon first. So we're gonna do lightning hands. Get that free damage in there, and then you're gonna shoot. Yep. Didn't see actually how much damage we had. Okay, you've got 73% chance. Why don't we just move you up then? Got it. Now fire. 85%. Come on, take this bitch out. Kill him. 
still alive? Two hit points. Okay. Roger. Well, I'll just get right up in there and actually destroy this thing right now. 100%. Finally, something that actually makes sense. Sign him out. All right, Mayday. We could actually just straight up move you up. It would be better for some team members to get out. Because we need to be really way. quick about this. Yes. I need to save all those people that are inside that building. I'm guessing the other resistances took out the other chrysalids in the area, except for that one. But it's pretty far off. Yeah, I noticed that these other chrysalids aren't moving up because I don't think they've been activated yet. Wow, there's a lot of these resistance guys. Johan, you know what to do, buddy. Oh, yes. Right there, sir. I can do that. There's going to be some abominations. I'm hoping that's the only one. Why don't we uh, get Mr. Serpenter up there? Shit. We are so far off. I mean, I really hate to be reckless, but we'll put him behind the stack of tires here. Actually, no, what? Screw that. We're going to actually move him up because that if that uh, abomination comes after me, I'm the guy you want. He's got trust me. Blade Storm. So he'll actually be able to defend himself a little bit. I'm hoping we get an actual attack off. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to actually do that, but we'll see. Roger. I could potentially like say launch a nade right here. Maybe break some of this cover. Why don't we do that? Actually, that sounds pretty fantastic. It's not going to kill anybody either. All right, Mayday. Don't think I'm gonna have eyeballs on this guy yet. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll actually get an Overwatch in here. Okay. Duke Nukem. Put you behind this cactus here. I really need to reload him, but I also really absolutely need to move him up. So why don't we do that? It's time to get our asses in gear. You, sir, can do the same thing. That abomination is going to probably blast me, unless he goes after the civvies. Here comes the chrysalids. There's two of them there. Oh, there's the big uh, mutant thing. He's got a lot of hit points. No armor, though. So at least there's a slight consolation. Yeah! Yeah! Come on! He's, he's gonna go after Serpentor! He's gonna go after Serpentor! Man, quit missing, damn it. Please. I'm begging you. Do some damage, damn it. There you go. This is actually kind of a fun mission. Totally not unreasonable. I'm very much enjoying it. Yeah, that's right. Soften this guy up. Nice. My, you got him. Taking out that chrysalis. That's very good. That's a very strategic target. Because otherwise the chrysalids are just going to inject their poison and make more chrysalids. Yes, here we go. Here we go, baby. So what do we got? We got Volt. I can just zap this guy right now. Or I can do Invert. Switch locations with an enemy unit. Costs one focus. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. You've lost your direction. Okay. Well, we know where the other guys are at now. Absolutely need to take care of that chrysalid. <laughs> There's absolutely a chrysalid sitting right here. Unfortunately, he has no more moves, so... Shit, I don't know. We're gonna have to figure that out. Let us... 100% ch chance to actually shoot this thing. That's right, wipe him out. Nice. I have a PhD in kicking ass. Alright, where is... Wait, what happened with this guy? He died. The abomination died. Oh my god. No kidding. Okay, well then, let's just move our people up and actually straight up, got it, get them in Overwatch. That's the best thing I can do right now. Or, actually, I take that back. Let's throw a Mimic Beacon out there. So these enemies end up focusing on it. Because I'd like to actually save everybody. Alright, Serpentor. I can put you in Concealment. Or we can do grapple. This armor mounts a grappling hook and cable on the left arm, permitting rapid elevation change and access to tactically advantageous positions. Okay. If I just shot with you. I'm thinking what we should probably do. Let's move Serpenter up and shoot. Let's actually try to take out the chrysalids. Nice. Okay. So if, they, death. so if they come into range, he's got to get his blade storm. That was pretty much the whole reason why I did that. Roger. And if anybody actually comes in this house, it's Overwatch, baby. It's an affirmative, Commander. Let's get down to it. I await new orders. Unless, of course, the, the warlock just randomly spawns in the middle of this. Wow, I really need to move him. Like if I sl well, so after using rend, okay, gain a bonus movement action. So why don't we do that? Why don't we rend this chrysalid, or I could actually take this one out. Um, I don't think so. I'm gonna actually ta damage this one so the resistant guys actually have a possibility of taking these guys out. You will pay the price. Hell yeah, and I have been stunned. The elders have protected them well. So where do we put you? Um, I think inside this house. Yeah, let's do that. Holy shit, there's more of them. They're so out of position right now. Wait, I thought the resistance moved. Oh my god, I thought the resistance moved. Come on, take this bitch out. No! No! <sighs> Shit. Damn it! Did he die? Oh, he died. Wow. Okay, they're going after the Mimic Beacon. Perfect. Come on, baby. No, don't go after the civvies. Please. Finally. I thought these guys moved next, not the aliens. Is that it? Okay, you're gonna reload. It's fine. And fair. Be nice if you guys took out one of the chrysalids. In my opinion, the chrysalids are the harder enemy here. Okay, sir. You know what to do. Get that focus. 
any level though. So we're going to be able to actually hunt the the chosen. I think what we'll do with you is I guess put you upstairs on the roof. All right, let's take Serpentor. Cuz he's just that damn good. I can slash him, or I can slash this chrysalid. The problem is, is there's other chrysalids over there in the area. Uh, we're gonna hold off on that. Shit, I'm totally out of ammo with some of these people. Urgh. So unfortunately, it's gonna have to be reload overwatch. It's an affirmative, Commander! Wow. Let's get down to it. Yeah, it's gonna have to be that with a few people. Duke Nukem is gonna have to be okay. with him as well. Lock and load. Let's put you on, or I could. I think I'd rather actually move him up. Time to get moving. Instead of putting him on my pistol Overwatch. All right, you sir actually have a little bit more, or one shot. So I suppose what we can do is try to take out this guy. Why don't we do that? Got it. 80%. Come on, buddy. I just now noticed, look at all those beer bottles standing around. Man, these guys uh, had a freaky deaky party here. So six to eight damage. Um, you know what, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him like right over here. I'm gonna try to put him in like melee range so that way if this guy, if this berserker ends up coming in here, he's just gonna trigger my blade storm. We're, we're gonna soften him off a little bit. Yep. Really like the sound of that. Missing, please. These chrysalids. Oh, they're killing me here. Oh, yeah, Blade Storm. Blade Storm, baby. No, don't miss. What are you doing? I couldn't make that shot if my life depended on it. Got a dupe trying to take me out. I got nipped. Wait, what happened to my other Blade Storm? Wait, what's going on here? They're all trapped right in here. Take them out. Well, we're at least successful for the one. Yep. And now the resistance can actually come in here and mop up. And I don't think Serpentor actually has chrysalid poison right now. I think he just straight up took damage. Nice that we're getting all these berserker corpses, because I think I only had like two. Hey, Johan. You're up, buddy. Rend. Yes, take out this chrysalid, please. I will tear you apart! Nice. And you have momentum, uh... I don't really care. Uh, I guess we'll... Put you back up top. Sure. It's nice to see that the, the cocoons that spawn the other chrysalids that these chrysalids only have four hit points. Oh, I got a 100% chance. Might be able to actually take him out one shot here. Come on, Duke. You got him. <laughs> only two damage. Oh, he's, he's well. got armor. That's fair. Fine. Now you can take him out. Owned. So there's no more enemies in the area. 
right? So theoretically, I should have actually rescued everybody. All right, we're gonna actually be very cautious. We're gonna put you in Overwatch. That's a plan. Sir Pentor, let's move you into position. Uh huh. Can I rescue anybody? Uh, should I do Overwatch or should I do Conceal? Hmm. I'm gonna put you in Concealment. And then we're gonna put you in Overwatch. Remember to keep your head up and your eyes open out there. Roger. Nice to see that I can advance a little bit here with Overwatches, of course. All right. Miss Mayday. I await new orders. I think what we're going to do here, we're going to do a gremlin heal on Serpentor. Because he did take that little bit of damage. Make sure he's nice and fresh and frosty. Ah, okay. So that's probably why I wasn't able to rescue all those cities. So there's no more enemies around me. one five, you've secured the remaining civilians and there are no other hostile contacts on the scope. Good work out there. Hell yeah. So I was completely wrong. I don't know what the hell Central was talking about. He said that there was chosen activity. So I was under not even the assumption or presumption. I was under the certainty that we were indeed going to actually fight most likely the warlock, and he didn't actually show up. So whatever, I mean, that's fine. We got one person that's wounded. It's probably going to be Mr. Serpentor because he's the only one that actually took damage. I'm hoping we actually got some pretty fat loot from that because I, I need money. I need the intel. I'm not sure if we can actually get intel from having success in these missions or whatnot, but I know the speaker commended loyal citizens getting today supplies and whatnot standing up and to corpses. those who would abandon our values for those of the old world. The remarks followed a moment of silence for peacekeepers slain by XCOM dissidents. That was a fun mission. That was a lot less hectic than the previous Save the Civi missions that we've had to do. Because I'm pretty sure the last one that we've attempted was the one where it was this uh, really big open area and the warlock was there. It was like a million, or at least like a handful of the uh, abominations and there was a bunch of mutons. That mission was tough. Well done, Commander. It's always good for morale when we ace a mission like that. Everybody's tired. Let's get some promotions. Uh, if you did not attack this turret and hunker down automatically, that's pretty sexy. I like that. Uh, if you score a kill during your turn, the next attack against you during the enemy turn will miss. Absolutely. That's going to go really well with Blood Bladestorm. Okay, Johan. So, Rend generates a wave of cyanic energy in the direction of the attack. Damage increases with focus level. Okay, or we can get exchange. Exchange locations with a squad mate. Cost one focus. Interesting. So what about some of the other skills that we don't have yet? We have... When the Templar has focus, there's a chance to deflect incoming shots, completely avoiding the damage. Okay. And there's... Reflect. When the Templar has two or more focus, there's a chance to reflect incoming shots back at the attacker. Okay. There's channel when an enemy dies, it may leave behind psionic energy the Templar can collect to raise their focus level, so alright. Stun strike and knocks them back. Summon a pillar of psionic energy to act as high cover. Nah. Eh. Render attacks have a 33% chance to generate focus. That's kinda nice. Uh, after attacking with Ren, prevent all damage from the next attack instead of moving. Hmm. So, how would that work with his one ability that actually lets him move? 
It is aftershock. Targets struck by Volt or it will be easier to hit, increasing your squad mate's aim by plus 15 against the target. That's actually pretty good. Or amplify. Mark a single target with psionic lens, causing them to take an additional 33% damage from a number of future single target attacks. I think amplify would be really awesome. I'm not really convinced by other one. I mean, arc wave sounds like it'd be good. Damage increases with focus level. Why don't we? Why don't we get them both? I'll get arc wave, and then we'll get amplify. Yeah, there we go. We still have a uh, 26 points here in our XCOM AP pool. All right. So we rescued 14 civilians. Increasing income in the region. Awesome. That's really good. So we get 13 chrysalid corpse, faceless corpse, and three berserkers. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. So this is going to increase the uh, monthly income in South Africa by plus 42 supplies. That's really great, but the problem is, is that time moves really slowly in this game. I mean, we will see a greater return at the end of the month, but we just got our supply drop. I'm looking for immediate returns here. Ooh, we can actually increase our bond. Yeah, why don't we do that? Confirm. I did want to take a look at something here. Is, where are you at, sir? Uh, I'm looking for the Duke. Let's do soldier bonds. Let's uh, organize this by... How about compatibility? Huh. I'd really like to actually have him have a bond with Serpentor. Wow, that sucks. So what about Serpentor? Where are you at? Let us do soldier bonds. We'll do, say, compatibility. So very high with other people that are already bonded. And this random squatty here. Oh, that's terrible. Damn it. I want to have, like, people that I actually care about. I don't want just some random schmuck that I'm probably never going to use again. Bummer. So let's take a, a look at our event queue here. So we got three more days until Battlefield Medicine is finished. We're removing traits with uh, Dragonova. It's gonna take another five days. We got eight days left on the workshop. We're in an okay spot. However, I need that money. Why don't we actually hard save our game right now? And I'm thinking with all those chrysalid corpses that we have, we might be able to actually sell a few inside the black market. It's a rumor from the Resistance battleship. This will give us alien alloys. Nah, that's not really what I'm looking for. Let's go to the black market. Avenger plotting new course. We'd, we did get a whole bunch of them, so might be able to actually market make a little bit of money. Where are we at? So we want to do chrysalids. Archon corpses. Oh, they're only worth three. Awful. Huh. Damn, I just don't have enough inventory here to really justify actually selling stuff. Shit. So I could buy stuff at the cost of intel. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <sighs> this is really frustrating, man. I'm like constantly out of currency. So I guess it's back to the Reaper headquarters. I mean, the only other options are is for alien alloys or for, you know what? We're gonna do this. Avenger plotting new course. We're just gonna get some supplies. I need both, I need both intel and supplies. So, let's just go ahead and make make do with this. Yes! Yes! 
How many do I get? How many do I get? Nano med kit. The nano med kit represents a substantial upgrade to over our standard med kit, increasing the health of restored to injured soldiers. So is this something I actually have to build? I mean, excuse me, buy? Or are all, all of my med kits already automatically upgraded? Uh, do experimental armor. Experimental heavy weapon. Why don't we do another... Wow, they cost Illyrium cores. Why don't we do another experimental... We'll get started right ammo. away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. Let's go to engineering real quick. What can I do for you, Commander? Let's do buy items. I think my med kits, yeah, they straight up got upgraded automatically. Awesome sauce. Exactly what I needed. Oh, yes. So let's actually hard save our game here, and I think I'm just going to cut it off a little early. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play around with my the cosmetic aspects of my soldiers. And maybe change a few things around. Like Mr. Serpentor, I really need to know. I need to go on like the G.I. Joe wiki and change Mr. Serpentor's name to his character counterpart's name. And then maybe change around a couple of colors and whatnot. You know, because I've got a couple of people there that are just, their armor is awful looking. So this is where we'll cut it off. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next one where we have some more prettier soldiers. So please join me then. Take care and have a good one.